Hey guys, we are going to go over a few setting mistakes that a lot of people make. We coach a lot of hours every month, we'll say that to be safe. But we see some mistakes that are just consistent. Lots of people are making them and we thought we could make a video to help you out and make sure that you're not making any of these crucial mistakes. Hey, wait so one second. Before we get going, make sure you click below, click the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever we make a video. Bing! Okay, keep going, you're good. You're Sweet, good. man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. We've got a lot of names for the first mistake, so I'm just gonna give you all three. We can call it the dainty lady, purse hands, or princess hands. Basically, it's when you let your wrist fold over like this after you're done setting, almost like you're shooting basketball. But we're not, we're setting a volleyball. So don't set like this. We can call it rabbit hands too. <laughs> when you're setting, you want to finish the same way that you start. We start in a ball shape, so that's how we're going to finish. So check out my hands on the finish. Just in that even ball shape with your hands together. The next one that we're going to be doing is the slapper. Whenever you're doing the slapper, it means that you are not thinking about being kind to this ball. You're going up and you're just getting that ball away from you as quick as you possibly can. Let's take a look at what it looks like. An easy fix for this is to be nice to this ball. Love the ball. Okay, so when that ball is coming to you, let love in. <laughs> let love in. <laughs> it's okay to let that ball come into your hands a little bit, cradle it like you would if you're trying to not let an egg break. Okay, and then once you've cradled it, then you can push that ball away. next mistake we see at a lot of beginners is called the balloon catcher. It's when you see somebody running around like they're trying to bring a balloon back from the stratosphere. It's not biodegradable! <laughs> when you're preparing for a set, you really want to prepare in your catch position, which I like to call a cheeseburger position, where your hands are right next to your mouth, and that's going to be your catch position right there. If you start too high, sometimes you get a contact up there, you're gonna bring the ball down while contacting it, and then send it back up, and somebody's gonna to wanna to call a lift. And then you're gonna to have to get into an argument. We don't want you to do that. The next issue has to do with our hands. We like to call it crab hands, or changing a light bulb, okay? Not this kind of crab. We do want to set like him. This kind of crab. The issue is that our hands look like this, to where our thumbs are coming forwards, or to mimic what a crab would look like. Okay, we don't want to be a crab. The easy fix for this is just to pull your thumbs away from the rest of your fingers, okay? Or, as I like to say, is pull, point your thumbs at yourself, all right? Like, hey, I'm the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so make sure whenever you're going up to get that ball, you are pulling your thumbs away from you to allow for that nice, easy cushion for that ball to lay in. A lot of keys are gonna have to do with the inside of that forefinger. If you never let it touch this part of your hand or this knuckle, it's probably not gonna be a good set. So when we have this space, that's what we don't want. When we allow it in so that it just barely kisses this part of your knuckle or the inside of your fingers along the forefinger, don't kiss it. But that's what's gonna be a good set. You hold it on the finger pads. So if you notice, my thumbs are back towards my face, allowing for that ball to land very nicely in my hands. Almost like I'm making my hands into a hammock for that ball to land. Oh, I love hammocks. 
mistake number five is called stone hands. You want to make sure that your hands have some play, as if they're acting like a trampoline, so that the ball comes in to your hands and then out. There's a little optical illusion that happens when people set. People think that they take the ball down with their elbows and then press it back up. It's actually an optical illusion. Your hands receive the ball, but your elbows don't bend. And then they go up, so there has to be a lot of hand and wrist action to absorb this. You can practice that by setting without moving your elbows and seeing how you do. Problem number six. This one's called the peekaboo. Peekaboo. A lot of times when either we don't trust our strength or we're just starting to hand set, we really shorten this touch. One thing that we always want to think about when we're setting is we want to give our attacker as much information as possible. And when we make this really quick touch and then we pull our hands away, our attacker doesn't really know what they're looking at. So one thing that we want to think about is we want to really make this set really, really long and we want to have our finish finishing towards where our hitter's contact point is going to be. One thing that is really easy to relate to is a, pers a NBA player shooting a free throw. Okay, if they're shooting a free throw, they'll go through their motion and then they'll hold that hand up there as long as they need to. And sometimes they'll even walk back to their side of the court. <laughs> so one thing that we want to think about is really having a long finish and finishing towards our target. Not making it really short and going peek a boop. <laughs> the next one is an homage to my boy, Fat Joe. We call it the Rockaway. Lean back. Lean back. <laughs> Lean back. We want to make sure that we stand tall throughout our set and we approach the ball from behind. Most of the time people are leaning back because they've come too far under the ball and their torso or their head wants to get them in the right position. Your feet should be doing that for you. So you should step behind the ball and then come forward and through it so that you end up in a nice extended position with your back leg and tall on your finish. If you want to learn more about setting or anything beach volleyball, you can come visit us at volleycamppromosa.com, maybe come out to a training camp. Or you can go to betteratbeach.com and check out our full video library. It's got tons of great drills and explanations on how to do everything correct. Yeah.